Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Anthony Bartoloni, and this is the Uanti Sneaker Show. Well, President Eisenhower was forced to cancel his trip back east today due to that young lady. All right, guys, getting into some sneaker news. As you guys saw, Kanye West broke out the tan Yeezys. I guess I'll call them tan, brown, beige, whatever color you want to call them. Either way, they were fire. Like, that colorway on that shoe looks super clean. Uh, his 2XL baggy brown shirt, eh, I could live without. However, I may go buy one at Walmart just to, for fun. Uh, anyways, I thought the shoe was fantastic. As far as Kanye's speech, oh, that's what makes Kanye Kanye. If you didn't like think that was at least funny, then you just take life too seriously. Like that was hilarious on so many levels. He got super emotional. He almost cried thinking about how if if someone went up to his daughter when she was on stage and grabbed the microphone from saying he smoked pot, from saying he was gonna run for president, from just like rambling. It just that was con that was that's what makes Kanye Kanye. It was perfect and 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 the whole world was just hanging on every word like what is this guy doing he had two minutes and 25 seconds allotted to him he took about 25 minutes like it just it was funny mic drop high five and people hugging taylor swift like it just <laughs> he just goes up there and shoots from the hip and i love it next up we've got the dr doom foams making a comeback this then that not till 2016 but this is very big for the foam posit because the foam posit is dead buried just, it is, it is dead. It's trying to make a comeback, and I think the best move for the foam pause right now is to start retroing, uh, you know, old colorways. And I think an another little boost, once again, we, we know Nike, they'll, they'll retro anything. They retroed the DB3s, a shoe I thought they never would retro. Retro the Galaxy Foams. Do it. Do it for the All-Star, do it, All-Star release. You know, just it, be a one-trick pony. Do it, be like, you know what? Let's just go back to the Galaxy Foams, because guess what? It'll get me talking, it'll get you talking, it'll get everyone excited about the foam posit again. My arms are everywhere right now. But I'm I, Galaxy Foams, Nike, retro them, because guess what? It, you, you, it might Someone might get murdered in the streets over them again, and that's what you want. Well, not really, but kinda. We got a look at the LeBron 13. We got we saw some early images, you know a couple months ago But now we're getting some more detailed images and for the LeBron for the LeBron line and in the KD line and the Kobe line uh, There's definitely been a shift as far as how people wear them casually people still are gonna buy that shoe They're gonna wear them on court. They're gonna wear them casually like they still sell however in the blog world the social media world people aren't feeling LeBron's casually that much and and it, once again, it looks like a very hyper fusey, metallic, you know, armor posit and mesh and fuse is a, a big combo. You know, the, I think the key point is how do they perform on court? How do they wear on court? That that's the key, and that's like why guys like Nightwing are, are so good because he's gonna break that down. He's gonna give you, you know, in Kick Genius, they're gonna give you real performances about you know re reviews about how it's gonna actually perform whereas I'll be like hey look how cool it looks in these jeans never mind it looks terrible uh, so <laughs> so LeBron 13 I, I I personally you know will only buy a pair if I need a new pair of basketball shoes um, they don't look fantastic I wish they would go more towards a I think the Kobe lines done a good job with some of like the, the the fly knit and, and the mesh uppers and stuff those actually look like they w they wear way more casually uh, as well as on court and even the KD something about the LeBron's are so big and bulky. It's just not my style anymore All right guys sneaker head confession time it's gonna be nice I'm gonna try to do this weekly. I know this is a, a lot of people love this segment So let's go ahead and get right into it I don't know why I'm talking like this, but this is my new sneaker head confession voice David Smith says confession a kid at school kicked me in the nuts at school and then he stepped on my shoes i got more angry about him stepping on my shoes always protect your balls <laughs> they're more important than your shoes okay okay wbbb1256 sneaker at confession i am more influenced by bullet rc than by kanye 
Interesting. Interesting. I think that's a good thing. I think that's a great thing. I think that's a great thing because brands and companies will see that and they want to hear that. They like Bull. They, they look at him and say, shit, we got to talk to this guy because he has the influence. He has an audience. You know, yeah, Kanye is a big megastar. I mean, Kanye is, Kanye is the man. We know that. But when when a smaller YouTuber, like in the entire, Bull's obviously the, one of the bigger sneaker channels, but in the big YouTube world, the fact that Bull has influence, more influence than Kanye to some people, more power to fucking him. Sneakerhead confession, I'm in a lot of credit card debt due to my sneaker addiction. This could turn into a different discussion, but I'll hit on it right now. Uh, as you guys know, what was it? Flight Club was setting up like uh, layaway for sneakers or whatever. Do not get into debt over sneakers. Don't do it. Like I'll make a whole video about money. Motherfucking do not fuck around when it comes to spending money on sneakers. Don't do it. It's a waste of money. You're a moron. If you're you're under the age of like 17 or 20, I don't care how old you are. If you're 25 and under and you're in debt because of sneakers, you're an idiot. Like smarten the fuck up, okay? That's all I'm gonna say because I didn't start buying a lot of sneakers until I had the money and I was ready for it. I try to save money every chance I get. And, and when I didn't have any money, I didn't waste any money on sneakers. So be smart. This is to any of you kids out there that are, you know, if you're if you're 16 and you're worried about, and you, do not spend $200 on sneakers if you're young and you don't have it. That's all I'm gonna say. This is another co conversation for another day. As you can see, I'm very passionate about it, but just listen to me. Do not get into sneaker debt. Ever, no matter what age you are. Eric Stone, Sneakerhead Confession. My mom always accuses me of staring at girls when I'm really looking at kicks. FML. Oh, man. For, for your sake and for her sake, maybe just tell her you are looking at girls. Just, just do that, okay? All right, last Sneakerhead Confession before I wrap this up. Amazing Jibster 713 Sneakerhead Confession. I find myself on eBay bidding on shoes I know I don't have the money for. Once again, I'm gonna go back to what I just said and I'm gonna make another video about this because it, it kind of triggered something to me. It just really, I don't know. The, with the, with, with the, the prices companies are charging, 200 for retros, 230 for foams, 250 for special Jordan editions, it's almost unfair to some of the younger kids that really want those sneakers and feel like they have to come up with the money to drop dropping 250 on a pair of sneakers is bananas even if you're rich even if you money doesn't matter that's a lot of uh, money and it actually is getting me upset because i'm like i feel bad for some of the younger kids who who do have that impulse i mean i have it too we all do i love buying shit you know what i mean i buy look at all this i buy tons of sneakers i buy tons of clothes i love spending money too but i try to be very good about it, and, and I'll try to make a video sometime explaining my process on, on how I look at money, how I save money. You know, you've got to respect a dollar. You've got to have respect for money, and, and dropping crazy amounts of money on sneakers is is can be very dangerous. So, this is going to be a topic for another day. All right, guys. So I have three new sneaker pickups. First up are the Under Armour. These are like the speed form, basically training, gym shoes. They uh, Champ Sports sent them over to me. Uh, as you know, Champ Sports uh, does that seating program, so you've probably seen some other YouTubers uh, get these. But uh, when I first got them, I'm like, what in the hell am I gonna do with these? I tried them on and the collar feels a little funny. However, I have three gym shoes uh, that are Under Armour, and they all actually perform very well. Like Under Armour does make some solid shoes, so honestly, based on the traction, like. This is like some solid grip here. So I'm gonna test these out and give you guys a performance review. My most viewed video of all time is an Under Armour performance review. So, oh no it isn't. I think it's a spring break performance review. But either way, I wanna show you guys how these are in the gym. Cause they're, they're pretty lightweight. They're kind of an interesting shoe. Uh, it's a shoe that I never would just like go out and buy. However, when it gets sent to me and I can go test them out, why the hell not? Next up, Saucony pickup, Shadow 5000. These are, I guess you could say, the South Beach once again. Pink, teal, white. Uh, as you know, South Beach colorway has, has you know, rest in peace. It, it died about two years ago, maybe even three years ago. But South Beach colorway is dead. However, clean, you know, I like the black. The black looks really sick. 
pink bottom, teal hits. Uh, Shadow 5000 is an awesome model too, so I really like these. I got a Shadow Original. These are a lot more basic. Like if you were gonna t test out a pair of Sauconies, this is a fantastic shoe to start with. It's the Shadow Original, very straightforward. You know, materials, uh, very basic. You're not getting the high end premium, premium materials that you would get on like a collab or the ones that are about 130. You could find these for about 60 bucks. So I'll post links in the description to all three of these shoes. All right, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Incredible, incredible feedback on episode one. Like, I was blown away. I thought people would be like, you suck, I hate you, and this was terrible. And they were like, oh, this was awesome. I was like, sick. So thank you. Uh, Jet Fuel Socks go on sale Thursday. I'll tweet out the link. Follow me on Twitter. Other than that, guys, thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate it. Episode three coming Friday. See you guys. Peace.